Okay, so lately I've noticed this tank is looking a bit bare and a bit artificial. So I decided today I was going to pick up some new rocks for this tank. So I've got them down here. I've rinsed them all out. Quite a lot of rocks here. I'd probably say there's about 60 to 70 kilos here, which I'm going to put in this big tank. I think what I'm going to try and go for is like a corner of like stacked rocks over there, corner of stacked rocks over there, and then like uh, in the middle like some stacked ones, and then maybe like a plant pot in between, so there'll be like a gap and then a plant pot in between for each one. This catfish here, he's really funny, it's called an upside down catfish. So I think the last time I did a video was when I had a smaller tank, and since I have upgraded to a four foot, 400 and 50 litre tank I think it is, around about that anyway um, and in here I have this no not electric um, Australian red claw crayfish um, my parrotfish which I've had for a while sorry my, my camera really doesn't like this tank it just doesn't like to focus um, oh, it's really annoying um, got this Oscar here please focus He's pretty cool. I think he's a Lutino Oscar. Got an albino convict. Actually, no, platinum, I think, because he hasn't got red eyes. Um, and this big VA half secured here. He's got a really nice colour. And this little kissing girl over here. I think that's everything. Yeah, there's not much in here. I'm thinking of maybe getting an arowana and just growing it out till it's like 10 inches and then selling it on. But I've emptied some of the water up to wash them up soon. And you can see it was very murky, but from all of the drops, you can still actually see to the bottom of the bucket, so it's not too bad. But I'll do a time lapse now of me putting them in a the tank. Okay, so I've finished scraping the tank, and here it is. In my opinion, it looks amazing. Obviously it's cloudy, but, oh my god, oh look at that, look at that. And because it's at the back, it pushes the fish forward, and it like, stands out the colours, and like, they're always at the front, and they're always like, enjoying it. It does take up quite a lot of the tank though, as you can see, but, so I might take a few out, but honestly I love that, I absolutely love it, and it like hides the filter in the outtake, the uh, intake, sorry, of the cursor filter. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I've got like, I've got an air pump running on it, running on it as well, but I found like these, um, I think I've got them at the tank and they just stick on the side like that and then you just obviously attach this bit to an airline tube in and it just flows bubbles up basically like an air stone but it's a lot more helpful because it's got suction cup as well oh, that was strong <laughs> but yeah as I say I am going to hopefully get the floodlights on this tank so it'll look even better than the floodlights on here you can just imagine like them at the top. Oh, look at that. So let me know what you think of it in the comments. But I really like it. Thank you for watching. Bye.